Hello everyone, it's Heidi and welcome to this week's episode of Baby Name Sunday. Today I am super excited to share with you guys kind of like a southwestern or a western baby names list for your little cowboy or cowgirl. I thought this would be so fun and I haven't actually done one. And because we are in Yellowstone season, yes, Yellowstone just launched their, I think it's their fourth season. And I was so excited for it to come out. Davey and I are absolutely crazy about it. So this kind of inspired me to do it this week. But before I get into today's list, if you guys haven't already subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification next to it and be sure to go check me out over on my social medias on Instagram and if you want some more baby name inspo I do have my blog which is babynamesunday.com all right let's dive into today's list it's quite actually a long list I've really been spoiling you guys but I want to make this one like so awesome so I have a ton of names to share with you it's probably around 80 something so let's dive into it so to start this list off I have one of my favorites and we have the name Rook spelled R-O-O-K, Rook. Now this one's actually an animal name, meaning raven. Next, I have the name Westerly, spelled W-E-S-T-E-R-L-E-Y, Westerly, with the nickname Wes, and this one means Western Way. Yellowstone-inspired name here, we have Dutton. Spelled D-U-T-T-O-N, Dutton. This is Old English originated. It's actually a surname, meaning hill settlement. Moving on to my next name here, I have Stetson. Spelled S-T-E-T-S-O-N, Stetson. Now this one's a surname, possibly meaning little fighter. Then very similar to Rook, I have Ritter. Spelled R-I-T-T-E-R, Ritter. How cool is that one? It's German rooted, meaning knight or mounted warrior. On the girl side, I have Eloise, spelled E-L-O-I-S-E, -E, Eloise. Such a vintage revival. It's French rooted, meaning healthy and wide. Then for another option here on the girl side, we have Henrietta, spelled H-E-N-R-I-E-T-T-A, Henrietta. I love the sound of this. It's a variant of Henry, meaning a state ruler. A unisex option here I have is the name Wyatt. Spelled W-Y-A-T-T, -T, Wyatt. This one's English rooted, meaning brave in war. Then I have Rider, spelled R-I-D-E-R. -E you could do R-Y if you do so choose, and it's an occupational name, meaning horseman. Just like Westerly, I have Eastley, spelled E-A-S-T-L-E-Y, Eastley. And this one means Eastern Meadow. Then for something totally different here, guys, we have the name Dutch. Spelled D-U-T-C-H, Dutch. This one was actually used by a celebrity. I totally forgot what her name was, but I recently read it and I was like, wow, this is so cool. And so this name relates to the people of the Netherlands, but also Germany and has been used as a first name in the past, but obviously very rare. Switching things up here, something totally opposite to rare, a very classic and timeless choice. We have James, spelled J-A-M-E-S. James and this one's a Hebrew originated name meaning supplanter then swinging back into Yellowstone we have the name Rip spelled R-I-P-P Rip and this one's Dutch rooted meaning strength and might I couldn't go through this list without saying Rip's wife or love this is the name Beth spelled B-E-T-H Beth and Beth is actually a diminutive of Elizabeth meaning pledge to God I have a word name here next, and that's the name Scout, spelled S-C-O-U-T, Scout, and this one means spotter. Then for something totally adorable here, guys, I have Rufus, spelled R-U-F-U-S, Rufus, and this one's Latin rooted, meaning red haired. Next option on this Western inspired list, I have Wiley, spelled W-I-L-E-Y, Wiley, and this one's Scottish and German, meaning resolute protection. Next, I have Reeves, spelled R-E-E-V-E-S, Reeves. And this one's an occupational name, meaning bailiff. Z name on the girl side, we have Zazzy. So Z-A-Z-I-E, Zazzy. This one's actually inspired by a main character in a movie that I actually watched recently. But it's a very fun French diminutive of Isabel, actually, meaning pledge to God. I have a newcomer here next. We have Witten, so W-H-I-T-T-N. 
Witten. And this one's German rooted, meaning son of the white haired one. Then for a short L name on the girl side, we have Letta or Letty, spelled L-E-T-A or L-E-T-T-I-E, -E. Letta or Letty. Love both of these options. They're both Latin rooted, meaning glad and joyous. French name here on the girl side, we have Blanche, spelled B-L-A-N-C-H-E, Blanche. What a cowgirl style name. And this one is French rooted, meaning white. Next is Macklin, spelled M-A-C-K-L-I-N, Macklin. It's Gaelic rooted, meaning son of. Another option is Rango, spelled R-A-N-G-O, Rango. This one's Celtic rooted, meaning the late riser. Then I have Beaufort, spelled B-E-A-U-F-O-R-D, Beaufort. And this one's French rooted, meaning beautiful fort. And before I move on with the list, make sure you guys are subscribed yet if you haven't already yet. It's just a little bit of a reminder. And be sure so far if you guys like any of the names that you have seen or in the future that I do mention, please comment those down below or if you have any other options to add to this list make sure you guys do so in the comments below all right moving on to a virtue name we have the name lucky spelled l-u-c-k-y lucky and this one is a name full of fortune then i have daisy spelled d-a-i-s-y daisy and this one's a super pretty gorgeous vintage floral name another short one here that would actually really match siblings of like lucky and daisy we have cash c-a-s-h cash and this one's a word name meaning hollow switching things up here and a little bit of reese witherspoon inspiration we have the name deacon spelled d-e-a-c-o-n deacon she named her son this name and i thought it was so cool it's greek rooted meaning messenger or servant the next few names here are actually brand new to me which i always love so next up we have weights spelled w-a-t-e-s weights this one's an anglo Saxon tribe name meaning watchman. Then I have early, spelled E A R L I E, early. This one's super sweet. It's derived from Earl and it's an aristocratic, can I say that, title. Another L name on the girl side, we have Lura, spelled L U R A, Lura. It's German originated, meaning alluring. Then I have Boone, spelled B O O N E, Boone. I actually love the meaning of this. It's French rooted, meaning a blessing and lucky. Something super edgy here, really cool, is Calyx. So it's C-A-L-I-X, Calyx. I love this one too. Honestly, I would totally use this one in a heartbeat. It's Latin rooted, meaning chalice, and a chalice symbolizes friends, family, and good company. Just like Deacon, I have Declan, spelled D-E-C-L-A-N, Declan. This one's Irish rooted, meaning man of prayer. Then I have Windsor, spelled W-I-N-D-S-O-R, Windsor. And this one's English rooted, meaning riverbank with a winch. Time for a little bit of a naturey name here. We have Prairie, spelled P-R-A-I-R-I-E, P -R -A -I -R -I -E, Prairie. And this one's a very sweet, vintage sounding landscape name. Speaking of landscapes, I love this floral name. It's Flora, spelled F-L-O-R-A, Flora. This one means flower or to blossom. Then for another newcomer here, we have Redding, spelled R-E-D-D-I-N-G, Redding. How cool is that with that nickname, Red? It's a surname meaning son of the red-haired one. Moving on to another very futuristic sounding option here, but it's actually quite vintage. It was a surname in the past. So this is the name Rias spelled W-R-I-A-S, Rias. So it was a surname and it means the mouth of the river or earth or love. Next up on the list, we have Briggs, spelled B-R-I-G-G-S, Briggs. This one's Old Norse meaning bridge. Then I have Towns, spelled T-O-W-N-E-S, Towns. And this was a cool but studious word name. All right, kind of like the same kind of vibes as Briggs and Towns, I have the name Bright, spelled B-R-I-G-H-T, Bright. And this is another word name full of light. Swinging over to the girl side, I have the name Lulu, spelled L-U-L-U, -L -U, Lulu. This one's an Arabic name or it's a diminutive of the name Lucy or Louise, meaning pearl. Another L name here, completely unisex, is the name Lake, spelled L-A-K-E, Lake. And this one obviously is a body of water. Then I have the short name Judd, spelled J-U-D. 
Jed. And this one means son of Jordan and Jordan means flowing down, like flowing down a river. Another three letter name option here on the girl side is the name Jem, spelled G-E-M, Jem. Now I actually feel like this could be unisex. I can see a little gem being a boy, and this one means precious jewel. And next one here, another unisex one, is veil, spelled V-A-L-E, veil. And this one's a place and nature name, meaning strength and health. We've been speaking a lot of vintage names here. Another one here is Dolly, spelled D-O-L-L-Y, Dolly. It's a diminutive of Dorothy, meaning gift of God. Now we're gonna go very far into the past, and I'm talking in the 1960s this name was in the top 1000s now this is the name Willadine spelled w-i-l-l-a-d-e-a-n Willadine or you could do Willa Ray with r-a-e as that ending again like I said it's a 1960s classic meaning a resolute protection another W name here we have Whitley spelled w-h-i-t-l-e-y Whitley this one's English rooted meaning white meadow back on the boy side we have the name Holt Spell H O L T, Holt. This one means son of the unspoiled forest. Then I have Prescott, spelled P R E S C O T T, Prescott. I've heard this one be used for both boys and for girls. Love it. It's English rooted, meaning priest's cottage. Another shorter cowboyish name here we have Kobe. So C O B Y Kobe. This one's derived from the name Jacob, meaning supplanter. Then I have Barlow, spelled B A R L O W. Barlow. I think this one is so sweet. It's English rooted, meaning bear hillside. A surname here next we have Carlisle, spelled C A R L I S L E. Carlisle. This one means from the walled city. I have Benton, spelled B E N T O N. Benton. This one's a surname and a place name meaning bent grass enclosure a super trendy option here that has been rising for both sides we have wild with the w-i-l-d-e or we have wilder with that er ending both of them are super trendy and super cool kind of like a wild wild west names then speaking of the wild wild west we have the name lottie spelled l-o-t-t-i-e lottie this one is diminutive of charlotte meaning free man keeping on the girl side we have viola spelled v-i-o-l-a viola this one's one of my favorites it means violet flower then i have stevie spelled s-t-e-v-i-e stevie now this one's greek rooted meaning garland or crown my next few names here are so cool like you can't even handle it okay i have the name ranger spelled r-a-n-g-e-r ranger i've seen this one been quite a rising star over on name berry which is really surprising it's french rooted meaning forest guardian another cool one here is slade spelled s-l-a-d-e slade this one's english rooted meaning from the valley then for another really cool one speaking of forest we have the name forester spelled f-o-r-r-e-s-t-e-r forester i think that one is so cool and it's a really cool occupational word name keeping on this nature theme here we have the name clover C-L-O-V-E-R, Clover. This is a really super sweet, lucky plant name. Then I have Sutton, spelled S-U-T-T-O-N, Sutton. Both of these, Clover and Sutton, are totally unisex, and Sutton means from the Southern homestead. Place name here next on the girl side, we have Indiana, spelled I-N-D-I-A-N-A, -A, Indiana, with that nickname Indy, and this one is a place and state name. Then I have Truman, spelled T-R-U-M-A-N, Truman, with that nickname True, and it's English rooted, meaning loyal one. Couple cool E-Y ending names here on the girl side, we have Kinsey. Z, spelled K-I-N-S-E-Y, Kinsey. And this one's English rooted, meaning King's Victory. Then for, I guess this one could be unisex, we have Oakley, spelled O-A-K-L-E-Y, Oakley. I always think it's a girl's name because it's really been rising on the girl side, but it can work for anyone. And this one means Oak Clearing. For my next one here, this is one of my top names right now. I think it's so handsome for a boy and it's a name Vaughn, spelled V-A-U. G H N Vaughn. Another option that's very similar to Vaughn, we can do Vaughnly, spelled V O N L E Y. I seriously love both of these names so much. Depending on which way you want to spell it, if they're Welsh rooted, meaning 
meaning small or hopeful meadow. Something timeless and classic on the girl side, we have Alice. And this one's spelled A-L-Y-S, Alice. I love this spelling so much. It's German rooted, meaning noble. Then I have the name Eulalia, spelled E-U-L-A-L-I-A, -A, Eulalia. This one is also really cool. It's Greek rooted, meaning sweetly speaking. Keeping on the girl side, we have Greta, spelled G-R-E-T-A, or you can do a double T. And this one's also German rooted, meaning pearl. Then for a unisex option here, totally gender neutral, is the name Tate. T-A-T-E, Tate. This one's also inspired by Yellowstone and it's Norse rooted, meaning cheerful. All right, we are getting down the list here. Next option for the boy side, we have Breton, spelled B-R-E-T-O-N, Breton. And this one's French rooted, meaning from Brittany. Then I have the name Grady, spelled G-R-A-D-Y, Grady. And this one's Irish rooted, meaning noble. A newcomer to me, again, which I've been loving this list because of all these new names, I have the name Vint, spelled V-I-N-T, Vint. And this one's an old, old, old Scottish name, meaning keeper or vineyard. We have next the name Mitty, spelled M-I-T-T-I-E, Mitty. It's Aramaic, meaning lady. Then I have the name Walker, spelled W-A-L-K-E-R, Walker. I've been seeing a lot of little girls be named Walker recently, so I'm really loving how this name is making its way over to that neutral spot. It's also an occupational name. Then for another new E-R ending name, I have Trester, spelled T-R-E-S-T-E-R, -E -E Trester. This one is super old old, old western name actually. It's a surname meaning trestle bridge. V name on the boy side, we have Vander, spelled V-A-N-D-E-R, Vander. And this one's Dutch rooted meaning of. Then I have Watson, spelled W-A-T-S-O-N, Watson. I love this one too, just like Stetson. Stetson and Watson for your little boys. I think that's so cool. This one's also Scottish rooted, meaning son of the army ruler. Another W name idea here is the name Waylon. spelled W-A-Y-L-A-N, Waylon. You can also do O-N ending, but Waylon is an English rooted name, meaning land beside the road. Last three names here on the list. So we have the name Eleonora for the girl side, E-L-E-A-N-O-R-A, -E Eleonora. So gorgeous with that nickname Ellie or Eleanor. This one's French rooted, meaning ancient North or noble North. Then for my last two names here, oh, it's so cool. We have the name Creed. So it's C-R-E-E-D, Creed. This one's a word name meaning guiding principle. Then that brings me to my final name here on this Wild Wild West cowboy cowgirl style name list. We have the name Banjo. So B-A-N-J-O, Banjo, yes. And this is a folk musical instrument. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Honestly, it was probably one of my favorite lists to come up with. I found so many new name gems, so many names from like old Western movies or like just old Western surnames from the past that are just mind blowing. Be sure to comment down below if you guys have any other cowboy, cowgirl or Southwestern style names to add to this list. Make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already yet. Join the community here on YouTube, but also go over and join the community on Instagram. There is so much name content on there that I'm always posting. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next Sunday with another baby names list. Bye.